Morning, Leon. What's happening today? A lot of training. A lot of training. We're here. Have you shown them? I've already shown them. Oh, okay, well, cut that. I, I've got a cold. You have. You got a cold from yesterday. I think it's technically Zach's fault because we were on that freezing cold river. Do you know what? Maybe it was. Dick. Sure. What's up guys, welcome back. So today we are in Worcester, we're at Bullpen Fitness, which is Will Kane's box over there and Fraser. Uh, it's an ex-endurance weekend who are our supplement sponsors. Uh, we have a bunch of people all turning up now to do two days worth of learning. Uh, we have some great people here that are gonna take people through Olympic lifting, gonna take people through gymnastics, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, a bunch of people from our retreat have come. There's gonna be some news in the coming videos about our retreat. I'm starting the conversations tomorrow uh, and we'll be doing at least another retreat out to Tenerife this year. Last year it was sold out straight away. It was so much fun uh, and yeah, it's, it's I'll, I'll give you some info when it's out. Uh, but in the meantime, let's get warmed up, let's get the intros going and I believe we are kicking off with some snatch and some clean stuff today uh, and then there might be some handstand walks as well. So any relevant info that I think is going to help you guys, I will pass on for free because I'm nice like that. A few bits from our, from our last oh, how's that feel? Chris, Ooh, nice and that, tight. That's a deep burn, isn't nice it? Nice and tight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the calves are going to be innuendo city, isn't it? Yeah. It's not the calves of this, actually. Yeah. So Chris is um, XGB. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Isn't it? <laughs> He's an XGB um, Olympic weightlifter, so knows his stuff. So we're doing a little warm up. We're just doing some like squats with like an overhead press and snatch position, and we're stretching out our calves and our Achilles very simply on a rig or a dumbbell. Come on, mate. That was. Sexy. Did I sell it to you? You sold that. I sold it. Just push up with the hips and jump. Move my feet out again. So it should look like jump. Turn it over. Little jump. Turn it over. And it's three of those. Oh. <laughs> So I'm fit. Did five reps. Oh Breathing fire. hard. This is hard. I'm gonna sign up for this. Okay, a really comfortable 80 kilo snatch, PB's 95. Bit of info that Chris gave me, he said, John, you need to stay over the bar longer, common mistake, uh, because I have this thing where I move my feet before I've hit extension. And he's like, if you stay over the bar, you'll get better hip contact, you'll get more power. He says, what I do currently may be faster if I'm cycling, but you're gonna lose power when it comes to single reps. So stay impatient and being lent over the bar and pulling it into the hip crease. There we go. Everyone's having their lunch and taking a break. I thought I'd fill you in on what's happened this morning. Chris is taking us through some snatch. We did a lot of warm-up drills. We did some uh, just kind of getting under the bar, locking out uh, with the overhead press and the squat at the same time. We then started to release off the ankles and the hips a little bit, and then we just went through drills. We went through a lot of drills, and pretty much every single snatch workshop I've ever done, whether it was Sunny, whether it was Zach Tellender, uh, whether it's with Chris today, it always works with drill stuff to start with. And I guess a lot of that is because you don't know where people are currently at, and also because that's the stuff that makes you miss, miss lifts. Often, I don't see someone miss a lift because their max strength isn't there. I see someone miss a lift because their technique has a flaw in it somewhere. Maybe once you become the best in the world, it becomes because of your strength. Um, but I think for most people, if not everyone, it comes down to technique. And Leon had some pointers from Chris that he needs to slow down. Leon's so quick at getting under the bar and so eager that he gets under too fast and kind of loses his tension at the bottom. 
For me, I need to stay over the bar more um, to make sure my chest isn't too upright. And when I changed that, 85 and 90 felt so easy. I mean, my 90 kilo snatch today felt like nothing. So I was like, oh, well, try 95. Only ever tried it once. Took me a little, about probably 15 lifts to finally oh. hit that. Uh, but that's not happening today. Maybe it's a mental thing. Maybe it's the fact that I'm a bit ill as well, to be honest. Oh, so Wait to see, it's just like a flying squirrel. It's not the top. <laughs> What are we doing now? Um, oh, see you then. Clean and jerk, aren't we? Yeah. We're now warming up. Old Riggers over there is doing hand cleans and push and press. How much coffee you just had? A lot. I'm like really tripping out right now. Your legs sore from already? Yeah, my legs are sore from yesterday actually. I just feel First proper workout. Well, I've got to be honest. Yeah. And now it's going to be caffeine all the way this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Nice mate. Police over here counting reps. We're deep into cleaning and jerks now. It's kind of warming up to a heavy. I'm not going anywhere near a heavy today. So you're gonna, gonna do some power and some jerks. Like I said, I got a bit of a sore throat. No, I think it was from watching Zach on the boat yesterday. But uh, Leon's up, so we'll watch his lift. I just lost my upper back a little bit after the knee, above the knee, a bit there, so yeah. then I felt like I was chasing it a little bit. How's, How's it going? Get in yeah, strong mate, yeah. How did you get in there? Feeling good? Jeans? Yeah, feel good. Just um, finishing off the cleaning jerks now, and then uh, we're going to go into some handstands workshops with Mitchell. Lovely she's old like, job. Only, not because he's never good at coaching handstands, she's got really short arms. Yeah. And then we're going to do a bit of fight gone bad. We're going to watch Ryan PB Zoom in now, on my hopefully. jeans. Legend. And her knees, okay, which her hips aren't going to be far behind, are close to the box. She's quite flexible in the hamstrings, so she can push her hips over the top of her shoulders. Okay? Bet the legs a bit. Morning, have, mate. How are you? Have to get me in like my birthday pose. Well, I, <laughs> do you want to elaborate on the story you were just telling me <laughs> <laughs> about you sucking off banana, or should we just let people join the email list? Yeah, if you want to know, basically, John was just telling me how bad his morning was, and I then replied to him, "Well, I just sent an email to our email list about me sucking off banana in prep." And he went, okay, you win. So if you would like to join our almost daily email list and get wonderful stories like that, all you've got to do is head to leanmachines.com forward slash subscribe. There you go. Look at that for an ad. Uh, I should, I should also add, I wasn't saying how bad my morning was per se, I was saying to add to my face full of problems, sore throat, blocked nose, and now a headache too, so... Winning! <laughs> Let's go lift some stuff. You sound fabulous. You're do I sound good? You almost sound soulful this Yeah, time. I'm a bit of Barry White.
Woo! Thank you. Remember those days, those L's, I couldn't sleep right now. I get paid, fake game, stay in peace. I'm breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right. You could be my peace sign. I don't need that energy around me. I just need sun, you're so loud. Oh, it's so fast. So how are you feeling this morning now we're here? Like my Portuguese hash is about to come back on right now. <laughs> Your Portuguese hash, is that what it was? It was, but it was a mushroom one rather okay. than treat, so. Gotcha. Kicking off this morning with a 36 minute Imam. There is three stations, it's four minutes on each station. Just try not to get whipped by Mitch. Double unders, 30, box step ups, 10, row, whatever calories feel good to you. Bike, very similar kind of thing. How do we keep the quality of these movements up under fatigue? You're gonna squeeze your glutes, but keep your navel pulled into your spine. Raise your arms above your head. Squeeze them, Leon. That was very firm, actually. And talk me through what's been said, what we try and do here. Right, so basically, perfect hollow means. I'm just going to show you because it looks better. Okay, you show me. And then tell me. This. <laughs> that is the perfect, perfect hollow. For gymnastics, it looks great. Now we'll do the actual perfect hollow. Because that's definitely not. It's not. Squeeze the ass, tuck the, you tuck the, rib, the hips around, mate. You're like this. Banana, you need to be like that. There you go. Nope. There you go. That's the kitty. Why are you creating a strong position? So, the more tension you've got from fingertips down to toes, the longer the lever. The longer the lever you've got, the more power production you've got. Leon said he can't put his knees together and Shell he's worried keeps, that he's got rickets. Shell, no, Shell keeps saying he's got rickets. Rickets is a vitamin D deficiency that you're born with and it means that your bones don't form right. You can have uh, bent shins, uh, one leg long well, It's good to other. know at 32, isn't it? Yeah. Cheers, Dad. <laughs> Everyone just said that my whole life I was bow-legged. No, you've got rickets, bud. Rickets sounds horrible. You it haven't really like got rickets, Leon. sounds like an infestation. <laughs> you haven't really, like crickets. Crickets in your bones. Great. You haven't really got rickets, mate. It's fine. What is rickets? <laughs> I just told you, it's vitamin D deficiency. So I've got bendy bones. Yeah. No, I'm bow legged. What we're going to do first is when he's in his hollow, I want him to just exactly that. Squeeze his glutes and keep his chest down. So what we don't want to do is overextend and open the chest like this, because then that's not keeping tension. All right, guys, I thought I'd give you a bit of info. I'm not going to talk too loud because Shell's teaching. I don't want to be rude. Basically what we're doing is we're looking through the arc and the hollow position, which is how you create your tension for your gymnastics. You see when people get their feet together, toes are pointed and they're solid, you can create power. So if you saw one of my recent videos on core tension, Sherrington's law of irritation, it basically means a muscle that is contracted and under tension forcefully, means the muscles around it can create more tension as well. So if you can lock your core in by bringing your rib cage down, uh, posteriorly tilting your pelvis to get rid of that hollow in the back. So basically bringing your pelvis and your sternum close together, bracing your abs, bringing your feet together, uh, pull down your lats so you have an active shoulder, you can then create tension. It's like the difference between swinging a stick and swinging a bit of string. The bit of string is just going to fold and go, you just have no control of it. Swinging a stick, there's some rigidity there and that's what we're trying to do. 19 Mississippi, 20 Mississippi, good. Then, for 10, maintain the hollow, none of this, and then five seconds down. Leon, I think you should try it all in one. Just for shit to gigs. Please. 20 second hang, straight to the top, or a 10 second hold, yeah. and then a 5 second eccentric. I might be able to do it, but it I won't think, be good. I think you could probably do it. Let's give it a go. Now. Keep those knees together, Ricketts. Ricky. <laughs> Lovely, up to the top. One, two, three, four. You just crossed your cross. You just passed your CrossFit driving test. You, you are passed through gymnastics with an RX plus grading. You did it unbroken. I did. Games. <laughs> what were you going to say? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm trying to think now. So we've been going through pull-ups this morning. We started uh, with just the kit, with the dead hang, some trap stuff. We're now moving into 
skipping onto butterfly pull-ups. Uh, and basically, we're just really trying to reinforce that as you progress through these exercises, things are gonna change. The speed in which the movement is done speeds up quite a lot. So if you're struggling to keep active shoulders, and this is where most people get rotator cuff problems, they do their pull-ups, especially when they start swinging, they get to the bottom and they're hanging like this. We constantly wanna be pulling on that bar and keeping those shoulder blades pulled down. So now if you start kipping, or you start butterflying, you come down with more speed, you have to be more conscious to pull on that bar, because you don't wanna to get to the bottom, start rotating and hanging off the shoulder blades, because then the shoulders are taking all the load, and we get rotator cuff issues. So, cut the ego out, take a step back. Absolutely. Legs up, and he brings his foot through to mimic. So, we just did a, a bit of a, oh, hang on, let me get me focused. So we did a bit of squatting, um, went up to 140, which is okay with like, the new technique, trying not to snap the back back, um, and just kind of keep that core really engaged to stop my nerve hurting in my leg, to be honest. Uh, Leon squatted quite nicely, I think up to 160, which is 20 kilos off his max. Um, so I'm hopeful, I actually didn't want to go that heavy, um, but I'm hopeful that with all the kind of stuff that I've been doing with the physio this year, we'll start to do, we're bracing the core, that my 151 back squat is gonna be, well, I want 180, but probably not gonna happen in a year, but substantially heavier. Um, I just got to give it time to program that new movement pattern which takes time and time without failing because every time you fail you potentially make it harder to fix that new movement pattern in. Alright we are packing up big weekend at Bullpen Fitness thank you to everyone who came amazing to see some of the legends that came on our retreat again I'm going to start the conversations tomorrow about the next one uh, yeah epic weekend very tired five hour drive home I miss my little girl and Rosie so uh, I'm excited to get back to them.